All right. All right. I'm going to do the uh, rib. Start the rub for the ribs now. Uh, first one we'll start with today is the Butcher Barbecue Hickory Season Salt. Uh, this one's um, pretty good. You know, it's pretty nice. We've used their Butcher products. We're going to use uh, Butcher's uh, Chicken Booster a little bit later uh, for the chicken. Um, but uh, it's a nice product. If you use it, you know that. If you don't, give it a give it a try. Um, we did uh, when we when my dad and I took um, Chris Prieto's class there from Prime, and it's, it probably was brought up in other teams' classes as well. When we were shaking the rubs, you know, you know, you know some people shake it this way. There's really, I guess, no right or wrong way, but. Uh, he was telling us make sure we go all the way across mm -hmm. so you leave a little bit on each edge so you're not getting a whole lot of overlap mm -hmm. in one area. So uh, that's what, uh, that's just my little tip whether uh, anybody chooses to use it or not is up to them. Then we'll go on, we'll come back with the Killer Hogs, Malcolm Reed's uh, the barbecue rub and hit that on the top. Then when you're not doing competition rib, mm -hmm. competition cooking, do you have a, um, do you use all these rubs or do you just have a simple rub recipe that you like going to? Uh, you know, I, when when we're not trying to cook, we don't hardly ever not cook. You, we're always trying something, <laughs> you know. I don't know what it's like not to try to cook a rib that's not going to, you know, that we're not practicing for a competition, you know, <laughs> it's just it don't happen. I just, it's always, you know, I I, I should have showed you while we were inside. I mean, we probably have uh, every dog on rub known to man in there. Um, you know, as soon as somebody comes out with something, we gotta try it. Um, and um. That's just the way it is. I'm sure you're the same way. Mm -hmm. I was over at your house a few months ago, uh, and and you have quite the collection of ribs yourself. <laughs> uh, rubs yourself. You know, don't sell yourself short. Yeah. So. You know, we've got. Uh, matter of fact, we've got some. Uh, we got some uh, rubs. Or we got some new stuff. You know, coming this week that we haven't tried before. But you know what? It's going to get rolled out at the competition <laughs> next week in Fredericksburg. That's how, you know, that's just how it is. You know? Yeah, Catherine, Catherine saved these and she, you know, kind of gave me a, you don't have to, but if you want to. I said, okay, we'll put them on. You know, you know the has got that rib sandwich, that rib burger. There you go. That's the real deal right yeah. there. You just, you just use that and that'll be your pork burger uh-huh we keep saying that and it's all gonna this, taste better yeah we keep saying we're gonna save all this stuff that we trim and um grind it down because we have a grinder for oh, our okay. uh what do you call it the cuisinart thing mm -hmm. but we just haven't done it yet okay so See we're gonna let that sweat for a little bit and then we'll flip it over and do the same thing Okay. All right. All right. See you in a few. Time. We're now going to flip the ribs over, and he's going to re-season the other side. Yeah, we let these uh, sit probably I don't know, spend ten, maybe fifteen minutes. Um, in uh, competition, we might go a little bit longer than that. Uh, Kirby asked me why before we went back on to uh, his uh, recording here. Why we do it, and and we do it because that's kind of the way we were taught and told in the classes that we took so we kind of just stuck with it um, you know they said in the classes a couple of classes that we took that you know it let the uh, the rubs kind of you know sweat um, you know cling to the rib a little bit and it, uh, you know so I guess if you turn it over too soon that's just more that uh, you know that can fall off or you know so whatever each his own. Everybody's going to do it differently, um, but 
if anybody was wondering, that's why we, that's why we did it, because that's, that's what we, uh, people that we paid the money to show us how to do it, that's how they said to do it. So, who are we to disagree with them? So, going back on with the same rubs that we put on the bottom, got anything, any issues with that. Um, so we'll let those sweat a little bit more. We'll put those on. Uh, we'll grab the chicken here in just a minute, and we'll season the tops of those. And uh, in a little bit, we'll be putting meats on the smoker. All right. See you guys in a few. All right, here you go. All right cool. All right, we're going to go ahead and put the ribs on. Um, we're uh, just shy of 280 on the 270. And I don't mess up the tripod. Never hang on these. Oh, sorry. Technical difficulty here. Um, I forgot to put my things on. Um, we're going to put them on this. Uh, Are you turn your racks that way? Yeah. You got to go the other way. That's hey, you cook it on your smoker your way, I cook on my smoker my way. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll put them on um, and we kind of accordion them together. So that the uh, it helps with the you get a maybe a little thicker of a cut when you're doing this and put these little snacks on. Got and some rib tips going on. Yeah. Slice those, those bad on. puppies up and hit them with some honey That's and it. tiger sauce and brown sugar and yeah. you got you some leaven. There you go. So we're going to set these in here for about two hours and we'll check on them. I'll maybe hit them with some uh, water or some apple juice in a little bit. Alright. See you guys shortly. Alright, he's now retrieving his first rack of ribs off the 270 smoker. Coming off, looking good. You hear me? Uh, I should have grabbed me another glove down there. I should have. Sorry about that, uh, YouTube land. <laughs> I don't want to reach back in there with a. This is a uh, light brown sugar. Anybody? Got some uh, salted butter, nothing special. And most of you was familiar with this process. Yeah, this is just a little bit different. Um, we don't do the big pinch it down little tent thing. As uh, they said, as Jerry said in his class, anybody that tells you to do that, the little tent full thing, mm -hmm. uh, they hate you. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Anybody tells you to do that, they, they hate you. Um, so, whatever. So we just kind of do it like that. I think he calls that the chef's fold. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this one will go back on. We're going to repeat the same process with the second one that we're going to do here in just a second. Okay. So. I thought I cut enough of the butter, but apparently I didn't. There. It's the second one. These three bad boys on top. Again. 
little bit of apple juice. Make sure it don't roll out on it. Okay, back in the smoker. Go ahead. All right, we're going to take the ribs off now. I'm going to uh, pour this hot grease, brown sugar solution into this pan. And we'll bring them in there, set them on that aluminum foil sheeted pan, sauce them, put them back in here to set the uh, sauce. Dangerous part of barbecue. Hi, Dan Luke. That's it. Alright, I should have put that other one on. I'm flip it over. When you do yours, you uh, sauce both sides. I sauce both sides. Both sides. Mm -hmm. Okay. I thought about, I saw a video of uh, his last name's going to escape me right there at the moment. Um, was a Chad Ward from Whiskey Bent. Mm -hmm. and I saw him had a he had a video this week. It may have been a contest he did last week, and he had already cut his ribs into individual um, rib slices, and then he um, dunked them into a pot like I had a chicken in, and then he set them on his Traeger, he cooks on a Traeger, and uh, I, I thought that was kind of interesting. You know what, I thought about that. I thought about doing that because I don't like how you, when you sauce it, when you cut it, and then your sauce gets messed up and uh -huh. you got to resauce. Yeah. I, I was leaning towards trying something like that, to cutting them and then saucing them, then setting those that you cut yeah. back on the um, smoker yeah. to glaze. And, and I think that would cut down on a step as far as uh, getting back in between your bones mm -hmm. you know, when you go to set it in your box. But, you know, we'll save that for the next video. <laughs> so we got sauce here on the bottoms. They seem like they're holding together pretty good. Color Color is fantastic. Yeah, that's not bad looking color. I got a little bad spot right there, but if mm -hmm. it's for a competition, I get the tweezers out and mm -hmm. take care of that. We'll see what. Uh... Yeah, get this sauce on there. Yeah. Is your sauce, uh, when you go on there with your ribs, is your sauce like thick or? Uh, thinner yeah. than this? Or my sauce is kind of thick. Thick? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
I don't know. I tried. I uh, uh, I'm gonna have, might have to tinker with it then the sauce though. Yeah. I, honestly, I wasn't sure when I saw that video of the whiskey bent that Chad had. I could not remember how thick our rib sauce was because I was like, I don't even know if our sauce would, would do that. But now that I see it, I'm thinking that if I did slice the ribs into individual bones, that heck, they might not come out too bad dunking them mm -hmm. like he did. Because I'm, I'm seeing the sauce is a little bit thinner than I normally do. Maybe it's that nice prime barbecue uh, brush <laughs> that's working for me again. Who knows? Who knows? Um, all right, we're going to set these back on the smoker and set that glaze. Look at that. That is perfect. For right 10 there. or 15 minutes, and then we'll cut them up. Try the first slab that he just picked from. Hot! And you can see they got some real good moisture on those things. Do they need a little bit more on it? One more time? or? Flavor profile. Good flavor. Yeah. Just a little bit, a little bit more on the tenderness. Yeah, a little more tenderness. A little more time, I think. Yep. The flavor profile is real good. And yeah, I see it doesn't keep me from eating it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ones. Yeah, they look the same. They both they both taste really yeah. They they're good. They both could have used a little more time on the smoker. contest last week at Lenexa, we cooked our ribs over, uh, and we knew they were all over, so I guess this week I was going to make sure they weren't over, so I went a little bit under, so maybe next week when we compete we'll be just right and uh, get back to where we were at Urbana, uh, so but we'll see. Well, your flavor and moisture, it's flavor and moisture is there. I say just wrap them a little bit longer mm -hmm. and you have the tenderness. Yep. It's really good rib though, flavor wise. Mm. Alright, fellas. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Kirby. This is Rick Floor of Great Smoke in Chesapeake, Virginia. If you like this video, share it. Follow um, Rick on Facebook on Great Smoke. You can like his Facebook page. Yep. Hit him up. He also caters, so if you need some catering done, give him, yep. give him do a that for you. Mm -hmm. yep. You got a catering number? Uh, yeah, uh, 757 287 7283. We also have an Instagram. We do a little bit on Twitter. Um, you know, we like to follow everybody else. Uh, you know, Give us a follow. Give this guy a call too. <laughs> You know, he's out doing his thing, making these videos, trying to put the word out, making barbecue great again. <laughs> you know? All right. All right. Thanks, y'all, for Peace tuning. Like, share it, favorite.